Um, hey guys, welcome back. I am getting ready to drink this amazing smoothie. This has been my favorite meal of the day so far. It just tastes so good and it's super healing. Um, I did a video every time. Every time I try to start a video. What? You want some water? So every time I try to do a video, they, they start screaming or something. Anywho, um, I did a video on what I eat in a day and why I eat what I eat last of my last week's video. Honestly, guys, I was not going to do a video this week. Um, we were supposed to be moving today. And long story short, it got moved yet again. The closing date did. So, um, I'll tell you about that story in a little bit. It's kind of depressing and then kind of exciting at the same time. A pretty cool story, I guess crazy story so anyways we I am going to do a quick clean today got to go pick up some boxes to start packing or not start I've already started but to finish packing and just gonna bring you guys along with me tell you this crazy story update you guys so that's what today's gonna be about what? What kind of blueberries? Frozen blueberries. <laughs> Are they good? Mm-hmm. What? What? what Alright, we are heading to get our boxes. So, my dad actually works at Kimberly Clark. And the perks of doing that is we get some free boxes. So, free boxes! Yeah, not pretty. Free. <laughs> Um, so we're heading to do that. Once we get back with that, I will start packing. Let's talk about this whole home buying situation. You guys, we have moved closing dates five times. Five times. We've been working on this since September, the middle of September of 2020. And it is now January of 2021. So and it's not only January, but it's the 15th. So we're well into January. The kids are talking in the background. So the inspection came back pretty good. There was some, I can't even remember. It was some kind of bug. It was kind of like a termite, but it's not a termite. And it's usually found in uh, like wood homes. So anyways, we asked if they spray for that. They agreed with that. Like not a big deal um so nothing structurally bad so i was thankful for that about two weeks before the first date of closing the title company saw what seemed to be um another house like half of their house on the property after they like took an aerial picture of it so they had to do another survey and um which didn't seem like that big of a deal and but it took a long time for the survey to come back finally found out that somebody's porch like part of their uh, it was a ramp was on the property of, of the sellers so potentially our property and People so it was about six foot of that on let us into our new house. yeah they're gonna let us now um so there was about six foot of that on t on the property so it had to be moved and then the survey had to surveyor had to take pictures of that and prove that it was moved i um, prayed for it didn't I? yes you did pray for it and we are so thankful for that we've been teaching about prayer throughout this whole process so um Selah has Man, to have the faith of a child and not have to worry about all that stuff is, would be nice. I'm a um, child. Yeah, you're a child. So anyways, the sellers went to the neighbor that had the uh, encroachment on the land. And they told them that they were going to have to move that part. They agreed they were selling the house anyways and they were under contract and about to move. Um, but they didn't move it. So they closed on their home without moving that ramp, which just put us 
further behind. So they had to go talk to the new neighbors and the new neighbors agreed to move it, but they wanted to use it uh, just to get moved in. So that's understandable. They moved it very quickly. So hopefully these neighbors are gonna be nice and easy to work with. So they moved it. Once that was done, we could finally order the appraisal. Well, everybody and their mama seems to be moving to Tennessee right now. Um, lots of people from Ohio and California um, I have met in the past few weeks that are moving here or have moved here from those places. So that means that everybody is backed up. Also, a lot of people are refinancing their homes right now so that they can have a lower interest rate because interest rates are so well. So it's just been a crazy year and then the surveyor, not surveyor, the um, appraiser, yeah, appraiser was already backed up, but this house is supposedly super unique. I don't, I mean, it is unique, don't get me wrong. The build of it is cool. The guy that lived in it and built it himself, he was not a carpenter, he just took his time. They uh, lived in a shed while they built this house. So it's neat, I'm excited to show you guys it, but they were having a hard time finding an appraiser to come out and actually agree to appraise it which is was kind of hard on us so we finally got somebody that was willing to appraise it um, and then they had a hard time finding comps to compare it they finally get that turned in and the appraisal comes back lower than the agreement that or the contract that we had on it so and it was almost ten thousand dollars lower so the sellers were super mad and frustrated. I mean, everybody was frustrated with this process. It's not just us. It's like the sellers and the realtors because what? I was frustrated. I was frustrated. It's just it was taking such a long process, and it just seemed like everything just kept happening to make the process even longer. So the sellers actually pulled out and said they were not going to sign for another extension. They were not going to sell for the price that it appraised for, that they wanted more money out of it, and we thought we lost this home. It was so scary. At one point, I, I had peace with it, and I was like, okay, maybe this is just not God's plan for us to do, and we like immediately started looking for something else because we've been living at my sister's house in a bedroom for almost seven months now and the last three deals that we have tried to work with with land and building a home and other things have fallen through so man you guys it has been a process and a frustrating one at that so we were able to finally renegotiate and um, settle with the sellers. And so far, it is back on track. Everything is um, on its way, looking good to close in a week. This is the furthest we've ever gotten with this process. And oh my goodness, I'm so ready for it to just be over with and to have our house and to get started on our homestead. So. If you guys don't care, say a prayer that no other hiccups come up because this like emotional roller coaster of highs and lows, I'm ready to get off. I am just done <laughs> with that. So, anyways, we're gonna go get these boxes and then um, head back to the house and start packing. It's coming back. Here it comes. 
we're home now and we just had lunch um had to do grilled cheese and an egg sandwich on hamburger buns because we don't have any regular bread kids seem to enjoy that so i'm about to give micah a haircut because i need to pack up all of the hair cutting stuff that i have and i want to give him a haircut before i do that micah he just he's making a huge mess so i'm gonna give him a haircut and then i really don't have like any method to what i'm about to do so i know that the house needs cleaned but i also want to pack anything that we are not going to be using so i don't know we'll just let you guys show me or i'll show you guys how i do this and if i have any tips i'll give it to you if not you can just watch Don't try to blame it on 